Hello, here's your tutorial on how to make elevators. As you can see, I made a counter terrace spawn. I made a little room and a platform where the elevator will go up to. Now, when making elevators, I usually like to keep it. Hold on. Okay. Um, I usually like to keep uh, the snap to grid the same level, and I usually like to keep it 16. And you'll see why later. The first thing I need to do is create the uh elevator platform and you can create whatever you want because you're going to be grouping it together in the end so I'm just going to create a simple brush okay, I'm going to resize it so that it's just one unit well for the mount snap in the grid so it's 16 units high I'm going to press enter now it's going to be elevator platform I'll, I can add some walls too just press the selection tool I'll copy that upwards and I'll turn it to make it just a wall. And I'll make another like back wall. And one more. I'm gonna make a door in there too so you could access the platform. Like a doorway. Okay, up, and I'll make a ceiling. So that's going to be my elevator. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to select the invisible texture by typing invisible into the filter box. Double click invisible. Okay. Select the box tool. And I could put this anywhere. I'll just like put it off into the corner here. Like that. Now what you want to do is you want to make the bottom part line up with the bottom of your elevator and the top part go right up to where you want the elevator to stop just like that. However I want to make it one unit less because what will happen is the very bottom like right there of the elevator will stop at the very top of this but because of the thickness of the floor I want the top of the floor that you walk on to end up being flush with this floor so that's why I want to do it one unit lower and that's why I kept the same snap to grid amount on I press enter and since it's texture with invisible it won't show up anywhere now I want to select all of this and group it together because this will be the elevator and I'll just press control G after I select it I'm going to select each one but you can hold in control as you select I'm not in the selection tool Okay, holding control as you select to select multiple objects at once. You probably know that. There you go, every part of the elevator, including the invisible part, is selected. And I'll press control G to group it. So now it's all one thing. And now I want to tie it to an entity, and the entity, believe it or not, is door. It's just the door that moves up. That's what the whole thing is. So I press Control T, and I'll select here Funk underscore Door. Apply, and now I want to change the name. I'll do Elevator One. I have a habit of pressing Apply all the time, and speed. You can adjust the speed. I think 100 will be fine for this. You can choose force closed and ignore debris. I usually like to do that way. That way, uh, people can't like block it. And I'll make blocking damage 100. So if someone stands underneath it while it comes down, it'll squish them because I'm feeling evil like that. And now you want to make it so that by default, when you touch it, the door will move. But you want to go into flags and uncheck touch opens. But instead, you want to use toggle. Because that way another button can toggle the door to move up and down. When it's up at the second floor, that's the open position, and here it's the closed position. So press OK. And one last thing, to make it by default to move up, I want to do move direction, and then the drop down select up. Okay, so we have the name, move direction, up, and we have unchecked touch opens, but we checked 
toggle. So I'm going to press apply. Ignore the my little brothers in the hallway screaming. And that's it. We have the elevator as a door. But now I want to make a button to make it go up and down. So I'll just uh, select that texture and make little posts to put the button on. Okay, that's where the button will be, and then I'll make the button, I'll texture that. I'll make the box now there'll be a button. I'll move the grid down a little bit, and... Okay, I'll press enter to make the button. And now what I want to do is I want to select it and press Control T to tie to an entity. And I want to browse up for funk underscore button. Apply. And you don't have to name it, but yeah, you don't have to do anything here. You can make like sounds though. I'll choose buzz. And yeah, that's it. Now I want to make outputs. Select the outputs tab. And press the add button this will create a new output where it says my output named you want to select on pressed so when it's pressed it will do this function here targets entity entity's name this is the entity that targets I press the drop down elevator one is there okay I'll select that and via this input I want to do toggle if you want to make a button that simply makes it go up you would select open because all it will do is open it because the up position is open. If you want to make it only go down, you can do close. And if you want to make it be able to go up or down, you press toggle. So if it's up and you press it, it'll come down. And if it's down and you press it, it'll go up. So we have on press, elevator one will be toggled. You can also add like a time delay here. Like I'll add two seconds so that the people have the time to get into the elevator. Apply. Alright, that's it. Now we could put another button just like this. I'll control copy the post to. And I'll put it on the top of the second floor so we can send the elevator back down. So I'll shift drag it. And then I'll drag it up. There you go, and the button, we don't have to really change anything, and it's not named, so. Still has on press, elevator one will be toggled, okay. And that is it. I will now compile it, I'll save it and compile it, and it will be an elevator. And in a few seconds, I'll show you what it looks like in game. Alright, um. I compiled it, then I realized I didn't add lights because everything was black, so I add, went and added some lights. And now everything is all like orangey and weird and stuff, but at least you can see it. So here's the elevator we just made. And like, press the button, it buzzes. Oh, I couldn't get in. I made the door way too small. And you could press the same button again to bring it back down. There we go. We and notice because we uh, made the invisible part a uh, one snap unit lower. If the whole floor is like flush and even and stuff, and I'll show you how when you're underneath it, it kills you. And that's it. That's how. You that's how you make an elevator.